cauliflower with kale and pistachio pesto. So I take all of the greens of the cauliflower first. Of course, you wash it when you bring it home from the market. And then I thinly slice them, right? And I have them going here in a big old pan, giant cast iron skillet. And they're simmering in a little bit of chicken or vegetable stock. This is actually bone broth. You can use vegetable stock, of course, if you want this to be a vegetarian dish. And then we take the semi-dried tomatoes, which you can buy in little jars. That's a little more expensive. Many, many stores have them in the bulk section. And it, it's much less expensive if you can buy them in the bulk section of the store. But we stud the cauliflower. And by stud, I mean shove your fingers into the side of the cauliflower. <laughs> and we just literally shove them into the cauliflower. Now the cauliflower, oh, I can turn this off now, we're done with it. The cauliflower, all I did was salt some water, bring it to a full rolling boil, cut a little bit of the stem out of the bottom, just trim it up a little bit, and throw them into the boiling water until they're just starting to get tender. Don't take it too far or they will fall apart. Okay, so now we're going to take these bathing beauties and put them down into the broth and the sauteed chopped bottoms and leaves of the cauliflower and the onions, right? We're gonna crust all of these with kale pesto with tons of pistachios and cheese. So the only thing you have to know about the kale pesto is this. When we strip kale, we hold it at the end, curl your fingers like a cat's paw and strip, okay? Then we blanch. You can use the same salted water, just wilt it down real quick put it into an ice water bath. We're gonna throw in one large bunch, then we add a lot, about a half a cup, pretty much packed of toasted pistachios and a couple of cloves of garlic, the juice of two lemons. Always squeeze the lemons cut side up so the seeds stay with the lemon and don't fall into your pesto. A good amount of olive oil. Five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna want about a half a cup, guys. Salt and pepper, of course. Now, my family loves spice. So you can add a little red pepper if you want as well. Uh, Parmigiano, Reggiano, and Pecorino. A good cup of each. We want this to get nice and crusty, uh, a little bit crusty around the edges on top of the cauliflower, and it's three heads of cauliflower. It's a lot of cauliflower. And we're gonna add, as always with dark greens, as always, a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg. Okay, now we take that off. And here we go. I mean, load it. Don't be cheap. Don't be cheap with it, it's just kale, people. And then you just pop it in the oven to get the cheese to start to brown. See how it turns a little bit brown at the edges? So I take that last bit of Sicilian pistachio, chop that up and sprinkle it over the top. And then, my family, as I told you, we like things spicy. So then we take our crispy chili oil and dot the top of these fellas with that another drizzle of olive oil.